the difference now when we're data driven and testing in the lab is now that we we're 100 confident that they're getting good parts with really good performance no it's a really good product and you're just refining it and fine-tuning it for for the application now that we have these new resources available to us like the dyno and all this instrumentation on the vehicles we actually can go back and improve previous designs and really refine them and think about things differently that we couldn't have thought about before because we didn't have the resources to do that. So having new technology available to us and the support of the company to go chase some of these things, we just can keep evolving stuff that was already there and develop completely new ideas. Working with our racers and our athletes to develop new technology, you want to give it the, the hardest the most severe abuse that you can to make sure that when you go to the general public, they never have a problem ever in the field. And we really believe that. And we spent many, many years over the years doing that from racing from UTVs to snowmobiles to ATVs to trophy trucks, you know. Um, we've worked very hard to make sure when we bring a product to the marketplace, it's ready for the market because we don't know what the average A consumer is going to do to it. So we have to have it prepared for everybody. I think it's cool that it's coming back to racing to then lead to the aftermarket brand side of it and then work its way into the OEM stuff. Racing is going to develop the future of all the other stuff. We have to constantly be pushing and all of us feel the same way where it's, you know, it's like, what can we do to make it even better? We want to be able to take a product that we think is really good and is going to survive go test it, make some tweaks to it, refine it to make sure it ends up on a podium at the end of the race, you know. Nobody wants uh, shocks that are going to break halfway through a race. It's, it just doesn't work. You know, we're, we're never satisfied with good enough. And so we even go back to some of our, our existing products and take a look at how can we make this even better. Well, I think one of the important things about introducing new products is being able to refine them. Um, you know, we, we do that through testing and through racing. We keep growing and growing each year. Uh, our engineering team keeps getting bigger and bigger. Our testing facilities, our testing power. You know, we have a lot of resources now to be able to test and make sure everything's working as it should. Um, keep innovating and just refining things, right? So that involves a lot of testing, a lot of trial and error, just going all different directions and just trying to find the best path forward. Do zero, like as far as you can now, go, Now do you right? want to do that with the current poppet size or do you want to do that with the new poppet size? With the current. It's still, we're trying to verify, you know, like, What's the going on? Like the solenoid closing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah. when we're holding it, it's not closing. Right. Because we're doing something when it's under pressure. Okay. We just started adding features to the shock to do what a big travel vehicle was doing because we wanted to be faster. We wanted to be better than everybody, and the vehicles had good, pretty good power but they probably didn't have the best suspension in the beginning, you know? And we kept on refining it, making it better. And we put technology, refined technology, refined from the basic monotube shock to the live valve and just kept on putting more into it because the vehicles are asking for it. The vehicles had more travel. They had to need bigger shocks. We're going farther. We're doing more with them. We're very fortunate that everyone that works here is passionate about off-road and like so we're very lucky that the whole team gets along you know everyone has the same interests so we all want to do our best here. Rad is about innovating and making the raddest stuff around for the shock absorbers right we're trying to evolve the sport and help the racers get the wins. You know we're, we're never done because obviously we're not the only ones that are you know, looking to make things faster like this. I think that's part of what really drives us is, you know, we just, we, we want to be the best. You know, seeing your product out there being used by, you know, top athletes, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. You know, it feels, gives you that sense of achievement. You know, you're doing something right.